Hey, how's it going? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward. And I just got a question the other day sent in through the Total Fitness Bodybuilding app by Paul. And he says that he's 49 years old, works out with weights on a regular basis, considers himself very fit and healthy, but he doesn't do any cardiovascular exercise as part of his fitness program. And he wanted to know what is the minimum amount of cardio that you need to do in order to maintain heart health. And uh, the good news for Paul is the minimum amount of cardio that you need to do, provided that you're already uh, very active with weight training, is zero. In fact, you don't need to do cardio to improve your heart health. Weight training alone can improve blood flow, it can improve circulation, not only to the muscles, but also to your heart. And there's been numerous studies done on this in recent years where they've shown the benefits of weight training on your heart and cardiovascular system. And you can actually get the same benefits and very often you can actually get better benefits through high intensity weight training workouts than you can from cardio training alone. So if you're pressed for time and you don't like doing cardio, you don't have time for it or, or whatever, if you just want to do one form of exercise, then choose high intensity weight training as your exercise of choice. You're going to get a more bang for your buck from weight training than you will from cardio. Now, with that being said, does that mean that cardio is pointless? Absolutely not. I mean, cardio can still be a part of your fitness program. And the way that I like to do it is focus primarily on weight training. Have that as the, the foundation of your fitness program and then use cardio as a supplement to your weight training workouts. I mean, cardio is still beneficial for uh, increasing your overall uh, energy expenditure, especially if your goal is fat loss. I mean, it's, it's a great way to uh, help to tap into burning stored body fat for fuel without breaking down your muscles uh, beyond your recovery abilities. Because one of the drawbacks to weight training is it's obviously very intense on the body. And if you try and just simply train more, increase the, the volume and the frequency of your weight training workouts, you could end up overtraining. But if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to increase your calorie expenditure, then you could add on cardio training in addition to your weight training workouts. And this is a great way to really help tap into stored body fat. And most top level bodybuilders use this strategy. I mean, when they're getting ready for competition, they will focus primarily on weight training supplemented with cardio to aid with fat loss. Now, another benefit to cardio is it can be very therapeutic. I mean, there, there's just something special about getting outside and doing cardio in the fresh air, especially if you can uh, get out in nature, like, you know, going for a walk or a jog in the woods or in a park or, or on the beach or something like that, where you can be outside, uh, get some fresh air in your lungs. It's, it's very therapeutic mentally and physically. I'll, I like to look at it as a form of active meditation because it can help to clear your mind, uh, can reduce stress, and it just makes you feel good. I mean, when you get outside and move, it just makes you feel much better about yourself mentally, physically, and just overall great for stress reduction and all that good stuff. But the truth of the matter is, if you don't want to do cardio and you're already doing high-intensity weight training, then that will be enough to keep your heart healthy and strong. So hopefully this helps to answer your question, and if you have any comments, feedback, or suggestions, please feel free to post those down in the comment section below. I will chat with you down there, and make sure to stay tuned for my next video coming soon. Take care. Over and out. Now, if you'd like to get some more information about strength training for improving your heart health and to read some of the research that has been published on this, I'm going to post some links down in the video description below that you can check out. And this is pretty uh, important stuff. I mean, there have been significant organizations that are now promoting weight training as a form of improving your heart health. And I'm just going to read this here. Uh, the American Heart Association says that for healthy adults, a regular program of weight training not only increases muscle strength and endurance, but it also improves heart and lung function, enhances glucose metabolism, reduces coronary disease risk factors, and boosts well-being. When our muscles are stronger, there is less demand placed on the heart. This allows the lungs to process more oxygen with less effort, the heart to pump more blood with fewer beats, and the blood supply directly to your muscles increases. So, I mean, there are definitely benefits to strength training 
and heart health. And again, I'm going to post the links that you can check out in the video description below. So if you want to do some more reading on the topic, you can certainly do so.